I'm right outside Virgin, Kentucky, where many areas just like this have been affected by overnight flooding here in Pike County. After severe flooding swept through Pike and surrounding counties Thursday morning, search teams and road crews have been working tirelessly to remove debris and rescue families unable to leave their homes. Our road crews have been out since about 3.30 this morning. Uh, we have activated uh, our emergency operations system. Uh, we have uh, mobilized all the resources we can. We've got significant flooding in the Shelby Valley area and the Elkhorn Creek area. We've had a lot of calls coming in with people who are trapped. Uh, some of those folks we simply can't get to because of the water. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, first responders here who have uh, have uh, experienced a swift water rescue, for instance, the Coal Run Volunteer Fire Department, the Pikeville Fire Department, um, Belfry uh, and Pike County Technical Rescue, the Millard uh, Fire and Rescue Department. We've got a lot of resources here. With many families trapped by high water, crews are doing what they can to retrieve those affected. However, conditions are hindering efforts. As of Thursday morning, it's unsure how many homes have been affected. Affected areas include Shelby Creek, Dorton, Jenkins Highway, Joe Nancy, and Long Fork. But right now, we're still in, in the rescue uh, operation. We just had the Coal Run Swift Water Rescue Team, if, as you guys were setting up, they were heading uh, toward the Joe Nancy community. Uh, there's no, uh, they don't know if they can even get there at this point. And the one thing we can't do is we can't put our first responders in danger. Uh, so if, it's, if you don't need to be on the road, don't be on the road. Don't try to leave a flooded structure again unless you're in fear of the structure collapsing or being swept off the foundation. Because first, there's no guarantee we can even get rescuers to you. Uh, and we also don't want to put our first responders in danger. It's all in our hands, this life of time. It's given to us all. It is all in our hands. It is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialists and subspecialists collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is the Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Afterward, Mountaintop spoke with Pike County Emergency Management Director, Nee Jackson. He comments on recovery efforts. The, the biggest thing that, and it's a frustrating thing for first responders, is the fact that um, we had people that were calling in for needs and we couldn't get to them. Uh, roadways were flooded and it was a matter of where a roadway would be flooded, then you would go a quarter of a mile and then it's four miles of dry pavement and then you come to another flooded area and you can't get boats uh, through those areas. We were talking five, six foot of water, uh, some, some more in some of those roadways. So uh, it made it impossible for us to get into some areas. We had some power lines down that were live laying in the, across the road in the water. So of course you can't put first responders in harm's way to, uh, to get to folks and folks don't understand that, that, um, you know, we're trying our best to get to those areas where these folks are calling from. But um, when roadways are flooded and every way the way this storm hit it flooded every way into different all these different areas you know I, people here in the Virgie area you can't get to joe nancy you can't get to the head of long fork um, you can go through robinson creek and come to this point at at long fork but you can't go any further so um, it's frustrating for the residents and for people that don't that have loved ones that they haven't been able to make contact with but you know there are some power outages, like I said, with power lines being down. Uh, Mountain Water also has um, some issues that they're going to have to have water off for a while due to the flooding. So um, it's really hampered first responders being able to get into those areas. And right now, uh, we've got three crews out or four crews out right now uh, trying to get into some of those areas that as the water's receded out of the roadway, the state road department's working with us, trying to get uh, roads opened up so that we can get in and the county road department so that we can get into some of these places where 
we've received calls of people being uh, displaced or trapped. To donate food or cleaning supplies, you can drop items off at the Shelby Valley High School, Ginny Wiley State Resort Park, or Appalachian Wireless Arena. For temporary housing, you can visit Shelby Valley High School or Ginny Wiley State Resort Park. Reporting from Pike County, Kentucky, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.